In Miami, where Lionel Messi now resides, uh, we saw your friend, your colleague, uh, Sebastian Salazar last week crawling along the bushes of the airport runway uh, to try and get a glimpse of Messi. Have you followed suit? It's, it's insane right here. Um, I've never seen so many media members for anything Major League Soccer involved at all in my time. Not when Real Madrid came down uh, to play against the All-Stars. Not when it was Pep Guardiola and, and Bayern Munich. I've never seen anything like that in a Major League Soccer circle. I'm in a set right now that is ESPN's. There's ESPN from every country you can imagine. Everybody is here talking about his training sessions. They're recording the first 15 minutes of training and uploading it to the YouTube or to their local channels back in Argentina or wherever they are from. It is unlike anything I've ever seen for Major League Soccer. Uh, but no bushes for me. No. Uh, from afar, I creep, but not that far. Uh, how much are tickets tomorrow, Huck? <laughs> I've heard... Six hundred dollars, uh, some of the cheapest tickets. I've heard some crazy amounts of sweets. Uh, the tickets aren't what worries me. If you guys can see from what's behind me, this is the old Lockhart Stadium where the Fort Lauderdale Strikers uh, used to play. There are a lot of ways to get in this stadium. Now, oh. Morena Beltran, a correspondent from Argentina, was with us an hour nunca yesterday, and she was saying, I don't know what it would be like if Messi played in Argentina. I don't think we have the capabilities security-wise in the stadiums from keeping the people of doing something dumb. I have my doubts about this stadium. It is very open. It is very antique. Uh, it's certainly, I don't think, too equipped to handle a star of that quality or that magnitude. Everybody's coming out. Everybody's coming out tomorrow. Have you got a ticket? I do not have a ticket. No. Um, I need to talk to somebody about a ticket, but there is no <laughs> ticket for your boy. Uh, now, 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 uh, there, there is somebody from FC that is very popular around these parts. Shaka Hislop is very popular in Miami. I have no idea why, wow. but he's like the mayor of this place. So I'm going to throw his name around, see if I can get something done. Shaka, everywhere you go, you just Legendary garner status. popularity. I, it's I, incredible. I, I, I don't know where that come from. Her, her, her goes from telling us how easy it is to sneak into the stadium to then telling us that he doesn't well, have a ticket. Yes, yes. Uh, Herc, um, what's the percentage chance he starts? No, I think zero. I think from oh, listening great. to Dr. What's Martino. Point? Yeah, so what, go on. And, so why am I yeah. buying a $600 ticket? Why am I paying $600 for a ticket? Dan, Dan Shaka, uh, Case, I know you guys are old enough to remember when David Beckham came down to the LA Galaxy and it was like the Beckham ankle watch and everybody was like waiting to see when he would come on the field and he came on the field towards the end of the game for Alan Gordon. I think we're going to see something similar. But uh, it's funny, I heard, I heard fans aren't dumb. And I agree, the fan is not dumb. They, they spend their hard work money and earn money on something they believe in. But there are games where they have bought tickets and Messi's not even going to be there. He's going to be on international duty. So there are people here that are going to be here tomorrow that really think he will start, that really think he will play a prominent role. And the craziest thing about these crazy, crazy prices is we're going to see the worst team in Major League Soccer, statistically wise, okay, enter Miami, a team that needs to win out out of the next 12 games, more than eight of them to make the playoffs, versus the worst team in Liga MX, Cruz Azul. They scored oh. one goal all season. And tickets are going for crazy amounts of money. Did Herc just start that sentence with fans aren't dumb and then made quite yeah. a statement after that? Uh, Hercules, thank you very much, mate. Herc When's the next Football America? Are you doing a special tomorrow after the game? Tomorrow, tomorrow after the game, we'll do this game. We'll do the Women's World Cup, all that good stuff. And uh, Shaq, get at me on the WhatsApp. I know you've got some places for tonight. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you very much. Be sure to join them. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.